It's okay, you're very well excused. Have you ever experienced excessive burping, sometimes uncomfortable burning feeling in your chest, chronic cough, or even difficulty breathing? Be careful, you might have GERD. Gastroesophageal reflux disease occurs when the acid from your stomach frequently flows back up your esophagus toward your mouth, causing sour or bitter taste at the back of your throat. If left untreated, it can cause serious complications. GERD is actually an abbreviation of gastroesophageal reflux disease which is a medical condition characterized by a weakening of our sphincter. It functions as a valve that will close when your gastric contents is almost full, so it won't expel the acid out back to your mouth, which is actually not good if it's coming out to your upper gastrointestinal tract, since due to its acidity, it will cause an erosion it will cause an injury to your upper gastrointestinal tract linings. That's why we have to treat every GERD with a total therapy or else it will cause a long-term effect. In Ramadan, Muslims are obligated to fast, abstaining from food and drink from dawn to sunset. And those who have GERD usually have worries regarding fasting as it requires them to juggle between their health and their religious obligations. Cases such as an upset stomach often occur during fasting to those who have GERD. Then, what does expertise have to say to overcome this health problem? And we have to be uh, very prudent on this. We need to somehow very disciplined on uh, Ramadan month to uh, manage our food, manage our lifestyle, and also we have to check our condition, our GERD states to the specialist, to internal medicine specialist like uh, near your place to make sure that your states is still manageable by the drugs and if it's so then you can keep consuming your drugs during the iftar and sahur and then you'll have a really well maintained symptoms and also an improved quality of life afterwards. Fasting increases gastric acidity, so it is important to pay extra attention in building a new eating habit during fasting. Chew slowly and thoroughly when eating as it will ease your stomach's work. Also, it's better to avoid swallowing air because it can cause bloating. It is also the prophet sunnah to chew your food 40 times. Avoid laying down straight after suhoor and iftar. To prevent stomach acid to enter oesophagus and trigger reflux. Drink plenty of water during suhoor and iftar so your body will adjust fluid levels for the next day. Remember, don't do it while laying down or slouching. Last but not least, take the necessary medication if needed. Remember, taking care of our health is still an obligation as well. Karan Vandenbroek and Reza Anindita for C Today. <laughs>